All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about how to make a template on Google Slides as a hyperdoc. So that way you have one ready to go for your class for the entire school year, and you can just keep recycling the same template over and over. That way quick activities can be made all through collaborative hyperdocs. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with just the main slide. I'm gonna hit Control M. That's my favorite way to make a new slide, and it just gives me a blank slide as you can see. Uh, the other way to do it is to right click and you can hit new slide here or you can hit the plus up here whatever you prefer to do i tend to be a quick key kind of guy so what you're going to want to have is you're going to want a directions page and here on the directions page you could include their work so you can include lists videos images drawings whatever the kids need to know how to complete their work i'm going to hit Control m again and on this page i'm going to call this the contents page when i do that what it allows me to do is it allows me to create a page where I can have all the student names. So I'm going to put in my student names here. I'm going to put, okay, and here I ran out of room on my list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this column over like this, or I should say this edge. I'm going to hold down control while it's selected and then grab a hold of it and you get an exact replica of the same one. Um, and then you could just delete the names. So. I'm going to continue putting names in. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to start making slides for every student. Now, to save myself some time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit Control M, and I'm going to put name. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this box here so I have the exact same font and everything because I like it to be the same. And I'm going to hold down Control and grab a hold of this word name. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit too. Now that I have the word name, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Let's make it uh, 14 instead. And you'll see why in a little bit. And then I'm gonna make another duplicate of that. Once I make it small, I'm gonna hold down Control, click and drag, it gives me a duplicate. This one I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call directions. Oops, I'm gonna have to make it a little longer. Ran out of room there. And this one I'm going to call contents because it is nice if users can get back to the original page. And you'll see the advantage of this in a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight the word directions, hit control K. The other option is to hit the link button after you highlight it. And I'm going to choose slides in this presentation. I'm going to choose my directions page like so, hit apply. And then I'll do the exact same thing to the word contents. slides in this presentation, contents, apply. What I have here is I have this first student slide as a template. I have this linked directly to the directions. I have this one linked to the contents and I have a space for the name and space for student work to express their learning however they want. So what I can do now to make this easier is I can just duplicate the slide over and over. I'm gonna right click here, duplicate slide. When I do that, I now have a new slide and this one will take me to the directions page. This one will take me to the contents page. And I can just do that over and over. So here I have Fred. I'm going to right click, hit duplicate slide. And I'm going to change this one to Barney. And so I'm going to do this for every single student. Okay. Now that I have all the student names in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link their slides to the contents page. And so all I have to do is highlight the student name, hit control K, and then I hit slides in this presentation and I choose their name accordingly. So here's Fred, hit apply. Make sure you hit that apply button. It should turn them red. Control K, slides in this presentation, choose the name. I'm going to do this to all of them. Okay, now that all my students are linked, from the contents page and I have my directions page and I have my first slide I can hit present and this will give you an idea of how this whole project works and so the students can then work on their individual slides and then when they want to see each other's examples they can click directly on that person's page if they want to get back they can hit the contents page and it takes them right to their specific slide and makes it fully interactive and allows them to quickly see each other's work in presentation mode. 
And then also, they can also go back to the directions page if that is necessary. All right, so that's a little bit about how to set up a slides hyperdoc template for your class. You want to do this early on in the year, and then this can be recycled for any activity that you want. So you can have them simply give responses right here in your slides, share it with the class through Google Classroom, 